Now, space is filling up with junk. That's not really news, I suppose. Old bits of rocket, fragments of spacecraft, even old satellites are all up there. And, of course, it poses a threat to vital space technology, which could be hit and damaged. But here's something that is new. A British team hoping to solve the problem by setting up a, space, a spacecraft specifically designed to clear it all up. Sort of intergalactic bin men and bin women, really. Our science correspondent, Rebecca Morell, explains how it'll work. Three, two... Ah, lift off. Blasting off. For decades, we've been launching into space. But what goes up rarely comes down, and space has become crowded with junk. The removed debris spacecraft could be the answer. The world's first attempt to test how we can clean up celestial clutter. It will see if it's possible to snare a satellite in a net and review how effective a harpoon is. It will then bring everything back down, burning up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. It's been assembled in Surrey and has cost £15 million. This is the last chance to see it before it's packed up for its launch early next year. This is the removed debris platform. Um, it's going to be one of the world's first missions to actually demonstrate cleaning up space junk. This mission is incredibly important. We have technologies on here that have never been demonstrated in space before, and it's urgent that we actually launch this mission now so that we can develop these technologies uh, for use in the future. Since the early days of exploration, the area around the Earth has grown more and more cluttered. It's estimated there are about seven and a half thousand tons of junk made up of old bits of rocket, fragments from defunct spacecraft, even tools dropped by an astronaut. Scientists believe there are now half a million pieces of debris the size of a marble or bigger, and each piece has the potential to do some serious damage. Last year, the International Space Station was hit. This chip in a window was caused when it was struck by a tiny fleck of paint. But the bigger pieces of junk are a more pressing problem. This European satellite, the size of a double-decker bus, suddenly stopped working in 2012. Since then, it's been circling the Earth, threatening other key satellites in its path. The problem is going to grow. It's going to grow because collisions are going to take place in the orbital environment. We're going to lose the satellites that we rely on. Um, that's going to be costly to us, it's going to be costly to the future generation. All eyes are now trained on the removed debris spacecraft. If the technology works, the hope is future missions can be scaled up and the space cleanup can begin. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News. Now, let me bring you um, some further.